Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 14 and verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Eating is a part of life. In fact, it is a life-sustaining activity. Drinking is a part of life and it is very essential for very life. But yet, they are not what build the kingdom of God. They are not so important as the truths about the kingdom of God. And that's why the Bible very clearly says that you need both. You need eating both from physical bread and you also need to live because of every word that comes from the mouth of God the Father. And we obviously need to make a distinction here where uh, your eating and drinking does not build the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not about what you eat, what you drink, how you eat, how you drink, where you eat, where you drink, with whom you eat and with whom you drink. Because Jesus showed it and he said it very clearly, all foods are clean. He said, all foods are clean because these foods will never make you unclean because they just go inside and go out. And then what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom is of God is not what goes, goes inside and goes out. The kingdom of God is what stays with you for all eternity. And he uses three beautiful terms. He says righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Righteousness is your standing before God. It's about your relationship with the Lord. Peace is about your relationship with people around you and with, uh, and with God also. And joy is about your personal, intimate, emotional satisfaction. And he says... That when you understand this basic foundational truth that eating and drinking are petty things and you do them just to push on the energy to get along in this physical life, they are not big enough that build these three huge things. But these three huge uh, um, uh, vantage points that he says are so huge that food and drink stand nowhere when compared to these monuments of spiritual value. A monument of standing right in the sight of God. Oh, if I am right in the sight of God, what does it matter if, if I eat something or don't eat something? Because that can never, that can never move me from my right standing before God. What does it matter? If, if, I, if I am able to stay at peace with my fellow Christians or believers, then what does it make in all the world, whether I eat something or drink something, if I am able to hold hands, holy hands in peace? And if I am able to enjoy within myself the consummation, not of the flesh, not of sin, not of the world, but joy in the Holy Spirit. Then where does, where does eating and drinking stand? You know, eating and drinking are temporary energy, temporary satisfaction, and temporary in their in their life. And so we need to be able to separate this simple thing, what is temporal and what is eternal. What is common and what is holy. What is non-essential and what is essential. What doesn't stand and rot away and what stands forever. Gracious Heavenly Father, help us to be really able to understand what stands for eternity and what rots away and never run after rotten things and know just the place of food and drink and draw limits so that we don't regret in eternity. Jesus' wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.